Since 2014, the Emerge Film Festival has been bringing independent films to the Lewiston-Auburn area, trying to grow support for that demographic. Here to talk about the festival is Amanda Frost and main filmmaker Ben Keller. Ben, we want to get to your two films, but let's start with the festival. So Amanda, this thing has grown over the past four years. What is the Emerge Film Festival today? It's, it's definitely changed a lot. Um, when we first started out, we were really sort of taking over um, a previous festival that was part of the Lewis and Auburn community. And um, every year we've continued to grow um, by gaining more submissions from filmmakers, as well as um, really reaching out to the community and telling them about this film festival that we have going on. Um, so really, it's a great opportunity for us to showcase independent filmmakers from Maine, but also all around the world. This is a lot more than showing films, too. You have classes for young <laughs> filmmakers, and you've got beer from your local Baxter Brewing. Yeah, we, um, we have always had a component of the Emerge Film Festival called Emerge in the Classroom. And um, typically it takes place that weekend of the film festival. We bring uh, local filmmakers like Ben and others into uh, local area high schools and they talk about film and filmmaking and making films in Maine or making films elsewhere if they're um, international. But this year uh, we've been doing a small trial run with Levitt Area High School and we've actually given them more of a full immersive experience of what Emerge is. Um, and the students there were part of screening. Uh, so they helped to screen some of our short films that we had at the festival this year. And it's really great to, to get them into film and, and, and seeing their reaction to the films that they're watching and, and understanding that whole process. It's, it's really been a, a great experience to work with the students there. Ben, you'll be showing two films, but let's get a sneak peek of Immersion. When he's eight, we didn't know if he'd be on swim team in middle school. You know, he's doing all those things. I think it's too early to know for sure. He'll be surfing. So. For Cam, Scotty, Jack, Ben, and a whole community of children and their families, surfing provides the unique experiences essential to their health, growth, and their very lives. Okay, this has already won a few awards, so congratulations on that. But what was your inspiration behind this film? Well, I make films about uh, the human condition and how we fit into the natural world, and this just seemed like a great fit. Um, a lot of my previous films have been about surfing in general. Um, but there was something, I got involved with this organization in Kenny Bunk a little while ago, and there's just something about um, the strength of these kids and these families that was just really inspiring. And I kind of wanted to see if it was just kind of a cool day at the beach for these kids, if there was something more to it. And it turns out there really is a lot more to it than just like having fun at the beach. You have another one that's sort of a work in progress. Tell us a little about that. I do, yeah. It's called Just One Step, and it's similar in terms of trying to figure out our place in the natural world. It's about the human need to run, and that also turns out to be more than just like, oh, I want to be fit. It's, it turns out it's a brain thing. <laughs> <laughs> so. uh, Amanda was talking about you know, getting the young filmmakers more involved in this and starting with high schools. And What is your goal out of this festival? What do you want people to take away, both from your films and your conversations? Well, I think a really important thing about filmmaking, for me anyways, is the fact that there's stories out there. There's so many stories out there. And it is just about going out and finding it and trying to craft it into something that, you know, isn't just going to be sort of kicked to the side. Like these kids in Immersion, you know, like nobody really pays attention to them except for the families that are involved in it. Mm -hmm. But now here it is in front of all of these other people. And they're like, oh, okay, so here's a story about this underserved population that maybe is important to me, you know? If that makes sense? <laughs> yes. Amanda, 40 films. Mm -hmm. Lewis and Auburn is your community. What does this massive festival bring to the community? I think it brings a, a level of excitement. Um, you know, I think it, it, it brings people together as well. It's something I've been blown away. I work on the sponsorship end of things. So just the community involvement from that level. We have had sponsors that have been with us for the past fifth, five years and continue um, to support us. And, you know, from the students to just everyone local and even we have people come in from all over to participate in this film festival. It's, it means a lot. It's part of our community and, you know, we hope that it continues to grow our community in the future. 
All right, we'll end it there. Amanda, Ben, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Of course, and Emerge Film Festival is April 26th through the 28th. You can find out more information by visiting our website or our mobile app. And we'll be right back.